So you've decided to go to G Suite for your collaboration needs. Great and good for you. There's a few things before you can jump in and start adding users and groups though. What you gotta do is you've gotta link your domains to G Suite and that's what we're gonna cover in this lesson. Stay tuned. So here we are at the G Suite admin console. Notice at the very top, highlighted by the red arrow I've put on the screen, verify domain. You've got it. This is gonna verify your domain. If you haven't done it, that button will be there. Clicking on that, you'll be asked then to verify that it's you. Now I'm logged on as collaborationk at collaborationkernel.com. And as a result of that, that's the account that I created when I created my G Suite instance. So typing in the password for that, um, well then, verify that it's me and I'm authorized to make this change. Clicking on accept at the t terms and conditions, which I'd encourage you all to use and have a good look at. Clicking on accept. I'll then go off and say, right, we've detected that your domain is with your service provider. Now with mine, it's currently with GoDaddy. So if I say yes, take me to GoDaddy, it says, right, your verification request has been sent to GoDaddy to verify that it's you and then back to Google. And then, once that request has been received and actions, when you go back into the console, the admin console, again, you'll find that that button is no longer there. And that's how you verify your domain with your domain service provider and G Suite. Couldn't be easier, just don't rush it. Be very careful, just think about it. All you gotta do is, is think about a little bit of time for Google. Next thing is, is to activate Gmail for collaboration kernel. Now you may wanna do this, you may not want to do it. I mean, my collaborationkernel.com email address is on Gmail anyway. Anyway, clicking activate, again, it will say, hey, your domain is with GoDaddy. And it'll list your domain just to make sure that it's you, which is great. You'll then have to sign in to activate Gmail with G Suite and your email from your domain to G Suite. Okay, couldn't be easier. Click sign in to activate. Off it goes, it brings up the GoDaddy. You have, depending on how you set this up, I've got it pre-populated with my account. Uh, keep me signed in, okay, there you go. I'm gonna sign in. Okay, I'm on GoDaddy. Click connect to authorize Google to enable the service G Suite for collaborationkernel.com. Clicking on connect. And that's it. We're activating Gmail. Now this will take anything up to about five minutes. Don't panic. Depending when you've done this and how, when you've verified your domain, depending how long it's gonna take. If you just set this up and expect it all to go really, really quickly, it's not going to. There's gonna be about an hour's setup, generally, um, in between creating your G Suite instance and then setting all these things up, okay? I'll need some time for it to get through the system. Once that's all done, you'll say yes, your Gmail is activated for collaborationkernel.com. You won't have that annoying verify button at the top of your admin console, and you'll be good to go, and all ready to start creating users and groups. One important thing to note is, while you can create users without verifying any of your domains, uh, to your G Suite instance, you can't create groups, okay? So, just a little helpful hint. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Check back for more videos in the series.